Hi, I'm Petter Gunnarsson from uh, Papa's Brewery. So I'm the export manager and also one of the founders. So we have been around for, uh, started up in 2012 and are based in Sweden, Göteborg, on the western part of Sweden, close to Denmark, you can say. What was your style and why did you start it 10 years ago? I mean. We were 15 friends that meet up in 2011 at the Porter Festival in Sweden. And we think at the time the beer assortment in the Swedish market was too lousy. So we wanted to build a brewery and uh, brew some new type of beers. So everyone was very beer orientated and all the, you can say the American trend that come to Sweden with the IPAs. So we were really thrilled to brewing IPAs. We do uh, lots of experiments, but our standard assortment is mainly uh, the some pilsners, but hop, hoppy beers, and we do some dark ones as well. We try to do other beers as well, but uh, the IPA, the hoppy beers, that's what sells in Sweden. What is your capacity currently, production? We do uh, 15,000 hectoliters a year, so that's 1.5 million liters. So our capacity is two and a half million liters, but we actually now expand the brewery with a new canning line and new fermenting tanks. So we will go up to 3.5 million liters. Where do you, is most of your market in Sweden or outside Sweden? Or where do you? You can say 85% is inside Sweden. We have an alcohol monopoly that we sell our uh, beers to, but also some supermarket chains, but we can only sell 3.5. Uh, in the supermarket chains and 15% it's uh, exports. You've been going for 10 years, which yeah. is a lot of experience under your hat. Where do you hope to go? You say you're expanding, is that due to the demand or because you just want to meet new markets? Or? New markets, but we also we had a new tap room in our brewery. So a restaurant and beer and food pairing we do also. So this uh, autumn we will start up a new uh, city brewery in the heart of Gothenburg with uh, 700 square, square meters and uh, 500 guests we can take in in a session. So we hope that could be something. Are you still having fun as craft brewers? Yeah, fun is always fun. It's really funny and I think also to be here in the festival, meet uh, new customers from other countries, I think it's fantastic. I still feel to get out and I've been stuck in Sweden for two years due to Covid but now we're starting to get out on beer festival so it's the time of my life. How would you describe the craft beer scene in Sweden right now? Is it calmed down or are there still new brewers coming out? I would say it's a little bit of an S-curve so it's just taking down a little bit I think but the hype is not there really so I think now it's going to the, the guys who are serious, the guys who are focusing on quality, they will succeed. But it's tough if you're new, you don't get the volume so easy because the customer have learned how a beer should taste. We have, we have luck back in the days. People didn't know how a beer could, so it was not the best beer all the time. But now it's really hard competition, so you, you really need to deliver. Excellent, and thanks for talking to the Beer Idiots. Yeah, thank you very much. Nice meeting you. And have a, as we say in Sweden, skål. 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 Or I pronounced it right.